In the previous VCF video, we looked at creating our own backend data store with Visual Cloud Functions. In this video, we want to show how to store an image in VCF. Our employee entity has a field called Photo for Images. So on the Employee Details page, we bind the image component to a formula. The formula checks the photo field. If it's empty, we display the usual image placeholder. Otherwise, we use the photo field. We'll navigate to a specific employee, and we see the placeholder image. We now add a button to add or replace the current image. To the button, we will add some logic. But first, we'll need some flow functions from the marketplace. In the marketplace, we search for pick image from library and install it. Then we search for convert file to base64 and install that. Base64 is a way to convert a binary file to text so we can store it in VCF. We also need two page variables, one to store the path of the selected image and another to store the base64 text version of that image. Now to the logic. We add a pick image from library flow function so the user can pick an image. Then, with set page variable, we store the path to the selected photo. Now we convert the image to base64, and save the result into our other variable. We now update the current employee by updating their stored image. And finally, we update the data variable so the new picture is displayed in the UI without having to retrieve the record again. Let's run the app. We select an employee, and we see the placeholder image. Now let's select an image. The image is now uploaded to VCF and shown in the UI. If we browse the data in Visual Cloud Functions, we can see the image was stored.